Hey everybody, how you doing? I hope you're all doing well. I'm just, oh, I am was just, um, mm, I, I missed it. <laughs> I was just showing you there um, because I thought I had turned on the camera, but I hadn't. You know, concept, Justine, you need to press record to actually, you know, record a video. It's just a little bit of a technical important <laughs> um, but I was just showing there that I had put a strip of the paper in my Fiskars scallop um, punch and got that edge on it so it was just a strip of paper but yes how are you all doing hope you're all well I actually did this video about a week ago and I went to upload it today <laughs> and I hadn't done a voiceover of course I hadn't because it's how I roll Oh, so um, it's actually Friday today, so happy Friday. Um, sounds worse than it looks, but yeah, I hope you're all looking forward to a weekend. And for those of you like myself who work on the weekends, I hope you're all look looking forward to doing work for the next couple of days. <laughs> oh dear, I have no idea what I'm saying as usual. So what I'm doing here, I've, I've pretty much come to the conclusion that I really do little mini scrapbook layouts in my travelers notebook. It's how it sort of, it, it didn't start out that way. It started out really with just putting a couple of photos in, embellishing a little bit and, and doing my journaling, but it's definitely progressing into more of a what I feel like more of a layout look in in my notebook and and I think that's because I always found I've, I've been doing paper crafting or scrapbooking for years and years but I've never really done a lot of pages I used to do a lot more off the page stuff because I think I found 12 by 12 layouts very quite daunting um, and I think because this is in a book and it just feels more cohesive I guess I don't know I really haven't analyzed that yet <laughs> surprisingly um, but I think just for me it's it's a smaller space it's less daunting but it definitely has that kind of layout feel to it and um, I just do pretty much a little scrapbook layout and then add some journaling and that's it so if any of you struggle with 12 by 12 or even you know and a half by 11 or something and want to go smaller try doing it try getting a little layout look in a traveler's notebook it it works and it's it's great you do have to um, watch the thickness of your embellishments and things like that a little bit I just cut down those papers um, I know a few people will do it to save the paper <laughs> I was doing it more to actually um, cut down the bulk um, and things like paper clips and stuff are really good because they're not um, bulky as well and you just you just kind of learn what works and what doesn't I still use chipboard pieces and stuff like that but I tend to pull a few layers of the chipboard backing off um, to make it thinner so just little things like that but um, I'm really enjoying it. and and this purely just came about I was doing a bit of a clean up I'm going through that big sort of let's just tidy up and get everything in its spot um, and do a bit of a cull <laughs> time of life at the moment and probably start of the new year stuff um, and I came across these photos which were taken by my niece she's not a photographer but she does photography and loves it and she's got a natural talent for it and she took these photos of my daughter a couple of years ago and I came across them and I love them I thought I need to put these in my notebook so I felt like this photo went really well one it's one of my favorites and so I just wanted to do a little and the Nigella the Nigella paint the Nigella sorry the Nigella <laughs> I get so excited and my words don't match up with my brain um, <laughs> The Nigella kit is so versatile. I've got, I feel like I've got so many different looks out of this one kit. Um, it's just fantastic. It's probably up there with one of my favourite kits so far. Um, so it's just beautiful and the way it's been put together um, by Renell for the scrappery is, is great. It's just got lots of really good coordinating papers and, and things that match and you can mix and match it's just great she's done a great job so um, 
Now, just want to explain here. Here's a really good example. Don't don't be a fussy pot like I am. I don't even know why I did this. <laughs> I sometimes, when I come back and do my voiceovers, I think, why, why, Justine? Why would you even think of doing that? I don't know. Because where I was at at the time, and I think I do kind of go into another place <laughs> when I'm doing these these uh, pages, and I kind of just zone out a bit and <laughs> don't make really um, kind of I don't know. I make weird decisions like this where. There was a tiny little bit of the leaf sticking out. I was like, oh, I don't like that. I need to scrape it off. And then I end up and go cover it with, with a piece of paper. So it was totally redundant and totally silly. So <laughs> there you go. And I've got it all recorded for, <laughs> for it to be watched. Great. Um, but yeah, these rub-ons, they're so, you probably saw that. It was so easy to put on and so easy to use. And um, I really... Um, have loved using them and I want more <laughs> more of the rub-ons um, so yeah so I I know the kits are still available um, the new kits are coming out soon so get them while you can um, if you haven't already got one you'll just find um, that you will get so many different looks and there's so many it's so versatile and you I've actually just done some of the leftover bits of actually, oh, and this washi. Get the kit, get the kit just for this washi. <laughs> just for the washi. This thin washi is so gorgeous. Um, but I've just done a planner layout with the kit as well. It's so versatile, you can do anything with it. So um, I really enjoyed playing with it. So, um, and that pink butterfly, oh, it's just gorgeous. And of course, here is the watercolour. We wouldn't have a traveller's notebook cover or a traveller's notebook page, I should say. I just got distracted, I could hear. I think my husband's home and he doesn't know I'm doing a voiceover, so hopefully he's worked it out and he's walking away from the door. Um, yeah, so it wouldn't be um, a traveller's notebook page without me using watercolour, I don't think. So, um, and then I just do, a little bit of journaling here I don't even I just I just found this really um, pretty saying and I wanted to write it down I just thought it was really sweet and matched the photo so I hope you've enjoyed I hope it's given you some ideas and inspired you a little bit to maybe try something a bit different or do something a bit different in your traveler's notebook or on a page or something and I will see you all next week and enjoy and thanks for watching and have a great weekend bye